you know, another video because things are uh, going poorly. Always do. Haven't really improved since last I made a video, but that's not surprising. Now let's talk. Um, guess the life. I'm driving for Uber Eats in the evening. It's usually about six hour days. Get like 10 bucks an hour. Um, and it's extremely stressful actually. I don't know, maybe I'm just terrible at handling jobs and expectations set by certain superiors. I think that's part of it, but like, maybe that's too deep into psychology, psychological nonsense. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been a real, really bad situation, frankly, if I can't even like drive um, without feeling comfortable um, for almost no money. And it's my only source of getting money, like it's pretty fucking important. And it's been extremely um, difficult on me, frankly. I can isolate it pretty well, though, when I'm at home and I'm not driving. I guess that's cause, that's because I think I can always stop, even though I really can't. I need it for nicotine money. I stopped drinking out of uh, lack of lack of monies. Not surprising, I'm sure, but um, I can't remember if I made videos when I was an alcoholic. I think I did, but um, that's no more. Not because I've reached some, you know, philosophical conclusion or I think it's disgusting, it's just the situation has changed, I need more money. Um, now on to life in general, I guess. Uh, I think I want to talk about, I just feel pretty stuck, frankly. I'm 24, um, no degree, never finished it. Tons of money in debt with no clear way to make it better, and I can, I think uh, the permanent problem I have is envy, really. I mean, when I think about it, I look at my friends and they're just, it feels like their life is made for them in some way, you know? Like I'm kind of here unguided, no no way to go, no help. Um, whereas they, like every time I see someone that's even slightly successful, it's like, oh, their family got them into it, or... Um, they had a good family from the start. Like the the bare minimum, it seems, um, to be successful among my normal friends is, you know, they had a good family to begin with, which is completely insane to me, at least. Like um, raised in a two-parent household. Uh, I think the only I think one of them was raised in a single-parent household, but he was loaded at the ass, um, and he's attractive, and he's charismatic. Um, and then when I compare it to myself, it's like, you know, it feels like I really never had a chance, you know? Um, feels like I was born drawing dead. Uh, I guess I've been playing more poker recently as well. Always a good sign, by the way. <laughs> well, I haven't, um, I haven't gone too far in poker. I've only won money because I'm kind of, uh, because the way I'm playing, but, um, I don't know if I'll continue it, but I do need the money, so it, it may actually continue. When it comes to, but yeah, it really does feel like I'm drawing dead. Like I have no idea where to go. Um, I can't afford to go back to school because school is, even if I were to get the government grant uh, in Canada, let's say they paid entirely for school, I need to pay for housing, which would be in Canada. If I'm being very, very generous, we're looking at 1,100 bucks a month, which is extremely generous. And I can't get a job right now, despite having intern experience and experience working um, while in high school. And, and this is, I think it's just because of Canada, but I guess I'm sure I'll talk politics eventually if I ever record something ever again, but uh, I don't know, definitely feel on the, as of right now, that these this, these thoughts come in waves, but definitely uh, thinking about moving out to the country, as they say, in Transistor, um, but there's really not much to be done for it, and I don't really know what to say or what to do. Um, I feel like I'm in therapy, or I, I am in therapy when I'm when I when I'm in therapy and actually talking to the therapist. The uh, nothing can actually come of talking to them because the only solutions they seem to give me are you should really think more positively. Why are you, for example, in the Uber situation? I'm sure I would be told, you know, why do you feel so anxious? And these are thoughts that I already have. These sorts of discussions are more like um, they're supposed to be. I think it's intended to be kind of. When I talk to a therapist, looking in the mirror and really reflecting on the situation and being able to, um, in 
a healthy way diagnose situations. But when I'm driving, like um, when I feel the emotions, it's not really there. There doesn't really. I can't help myself get out of that panic, in the sense that I can't help prevent the panic, or the anxiety, or the negative thoughts. Like, for example, when I um, do something really dumb in a car. Like, for example, I passed somebody and I squeezed between them. There may have been. In, I'm being very. It's like at most six inches of room, a leeway on, a, on um, in total. So like maybe I had three inches on either side. It's very possible I scratched the guy. But when I make a really really stupid decision like that, like fitting my car through a, like a few inch leeway of gap, um, and there's another guy in the car that I'm passing. So I could very very easily scratch his car. I could very very easily um, get myself into a lot of financial trouble, owing like you know a few grand to fix the car or a few hundred bucks. Either way, it doesn't matter how much it is, but the point is is that when I make these really, really stupid decisions that I know I would that I know I really shouldn't make and I know I'm supposed to not make those decisions and I know I'm making bad choices, despite knowing all of this, I still go through with the action. And that's what makes me so frustrated with myself. It's that you know, despite all these all this all these years and all this learning, it's like there's just no improvement. I will i I'm still making these exact same mistakes that I know I shouldn't make. And, um, like, why, I have, I have to feel bad about that. If nothing else, why, why shouldn't I feel bad about that? And I do. And I don't know if the, ther and if the therapist can really answer anything except, uh, forgive yourself and think more positively. Like, how am I supposed to forgive myself, you know? These are mistakes that I know I shouldn't make. It's just so, so obvious. Everyone knows this. Um, but there is just mm, really nothing to be done for that in therapy. And, um, yeah, so it feels like therapy is not a way out, like, mentally. Um, and it feels like I've already passed the supposed best years of my life, so it's like, um, what exactly am I supposed to, what exactly am I looking for? Am I enjoying my daily life? Um, well, no, I mean, I passed the time scrolling YouTube and vaping. And there's no, like, there's nothing positive about that. I don't know how to how to phrase it, but why would I be, there's no, <coughs> excuse me, there's no happiness here, and in the, um, in the future, what can I expect, like, a terrible woman, no house, because the market sucks, probably, like, at most, making 80 grand a year, in Canada, so that's about 60 grand a year, I think, in, uh, in the States, if that, um, so it's like, my life's bad here, I'm expected to have a bad life in the future. Um, I, I have nothing that makes me particularly happy or makes life particularly worth living. Um, so what's the point in continuing? Um, and that's and all of this is just analyzing myself. I know I earlier touched upon kind of my friend's situation, but um, and I look at them and I think whenever I'm around them, it's always just envy. Frankly, it's. Um, they're so happy and I feel like I've been through so much to, um, get a scrap of this, you know, just get a bit, but, um, get a little bit of the happiness that they seem to have and, uh, I really, you know, it's just never come to me. And, you know what, frankly, I feel like I'm the, m the most deserving of it all. Not all the happiness, but I mean to say... Of any people, I feel like I've, of any person, you know, in my friend group or that I've seen, I feel like I've been through enough to be entitled to some reward, you know? But, um, it's never come, and I really don't know how to make it come, you know? So there's really no, really, really no solution. If I go to the therapist, I've, you know, I've asked, well, how do I find, I know it's a, an obviously pretty retarded question but you know okay how do I find how do I find happiness and um, pretty much just just keep chugging along you know just keep the answers to keep sort of just chugging along in life and surely it'll come to you and it's the same bullshit I've heard time and time again it's all just fucking nonsense just keep paying taxes and contributing to the system and uh, doing X and Y and Z and do, keep doing the exact same thing you've been doing for years after the you know best year of your, years of your life have been wasted and um, happiness will come to you it's just you know, a blatant lie to me. Um, I guess that's all for now.
We'll see if I'll get to editing this. Thank you.